when the current president was coming in, he promised us 300 million. That was, for me, was going to be the game changer because it meant just that, now imagine doing a Kenyan film, finishing your film, you are launching it to IMAX or Sarit or whatever. Or the international um, film industries like Sundance or something. Yeah, like I'm just talking about local first okay. before you go there. You know, when you have that, it comes on and say the president comes and launches the movie on the premiere or someone important, you know. The message is and it's in the media as part of a news report. It sends the message to the people on the ground that something important is happening and they come. What we need to do from our part is not disappoint. We don't do a wish you wish film and then you expect our applause. I mean, we have to go really hard and make sure we get the right, uh, or we, we get the right films. I think all one of stories will pass. It's just doing it well so that people feel that this is our film. You can shoot it as best as you can. You can shoot it in Kisi. The whole film in Kisi would be something else. First of all, on default, you love most kisses as number one. People come to watch because it's in their own area. You do it in Limuru, you do it in Mombasa, you do it in Machakos, whatever it is. So once, because those are the dynamics we need. We don't, right now, the only thing we need is films. That means that from the whole, you know, that like some of us have had to save for a very long time to finally be in a position to do a film, because after this I'm shooting my own film. So we need, especially the government, giving guys 100 million shillings, that's from the kind of budgets we are talking about, those are 20 movies. Okay. Did, that, did that 300 million ever come down? No, it's, it's, it, no, it's uh, Bruce Odiambo stole it and we didn't get it. <laughs> uh, that's the short version, <laughs> that's the short version of the story. So, so it, it, for me, I think it's important once we get that resource. We are, it's a small industry, you can pick your best 10 filmmakers and give them the money to do the films. Okay. At the end of four months, you'll have 10 films, okay? Running 10 films every month in the cinema halls. This one is getting finished, the promo of that one was going on. Everybody is talking, the actors are being interviewed. People. Must look, must care about the stars, you know. We we unfortunately most of our actors suffer because they are seen. They are really the people who should be marketing. The most famous people in this country should be the actors, not the director, not the producer. I mean, we get our accolades on the side, but the actor must must be everywhere to people to see them. You see how the socialites promote themselves. Yes. These guys write about them. They, they are, to be honest, they are not very economically viable people. It's just what they do creates a thing. But they'll play second, third fiddle to film any day, everywhere. Kardashian, she's famous until there's a big film. Then she's not. You understand? So we we need to loosen that. We need to make people more relevant. The people are, people people care about the actors, not directors. Then go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, they implemented that just recently. No, they haven't. <laughs> Use what? Drones. 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 They've been banned for the longest time. The, the KCAA are trying their best to put regulations out so that local drone operators can use drones. And it's just not happening fast enough. Put it next to the press for aerial shots. Exactly. Yeah, tax incentives, yeah. yeah. That's not really, well, yeah. Tax incentives. <laughs> tax incentives are, um, gosh, it's a whole university subject. A tax incentive is basically something that the government says, okay, if you're coming to spend a million, ten million dollars in my country, I know that when you come and spend that ten million dollars, it's money that's coming straight in, it goes straight into the local economy, and uh, and taxes are collected on it at several stages. And there's this thing called a tax multiplier, which will show you or demonstrate that when you bring in ten million dollars and you spend it on services and crew, that 
something like generates something like immediately 33% in tax revenue of the KRA. Now what clever countries do is like South Africa and uh, the States and Canada and what clever countries do is they say okay if you're going to come and spend that 10 million here I'm going to give you 25% of it up front because I know I'm going to get more than 25% in tax revenue on that. So you only have to bring, so when you bring in your 10 million, I'm matching it with 2.5 million, so you now have 12.5 million to spend. That's the baby version of it. So producers will always look at where am I going to get some money from the government to match the 10 million that I'm spending on that movie. So the South Africa do it really well, which is why a lot of Kenyan uh, a lot of stories that could be shot here or should be shot here because they're Kenyan stories go to South Africa because of the tax incentive. And we've come very close for a long, long time, which is basically not there then, for getting that in place in Kenya. We believe that they're connected to the recent suicide bombing in Kenya. We have information that they will be in this house today. This is an operation to capture, not kill. Range 22,000 feet. You have your orders, Lieutenant. Your job is to be the eye in the sky. Yes, ma'am. Hopefully, also promoted very hard and hope by then. We, because I am quite confident by the time I'm showing the third film, everyone else is awake and they're doing something. Sometimes it needs that, <laughs> you know, some just do it. And also, most important, I've actually got a lot of people in diaspora, like in the US, you could have five states where you just show the film to the Kenyans and the Africans, they come back. By the time you come back, the noise has been made up from there, it's just going to wash the rest. And we, there are so many things. And you know, from there you can make the money, come back and pick up and continue. Parents uh, who, in the future, if my daughter or son comes and tells me, Mommy, I want to I want to be an actor. I want to be an actress. I don't want to be the kind of parent who says, mm, uko unaenda kufanya nini? Uko kuna pesa. Will you be able to sustain a family with that? Will you be able to educate anyone with that? Yeah? So I dream of a Kenya where artists' rights will be protected, actors' rights will be protected. I dream of a Kenya where uh, where our passion will not just be passion, but our passion will make financial sense. Yeah. Because mm. artists, most, most artists, uh, it's a really sad topic when I get to, but it's one of those that uh, most artists are very depressed. Wanna struggle. Sana, 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 sana. Well, as they have their gifts out there. Their gifts are supposed to make, you know, room for them in the highest of places, but uh, it's not one of those things that's really highly looked upon. Maybe things are changing. Things is not, are not as bad as they used to be, Kitambo. Uh, slowly but surely, it's, it's gaining, um, uh, gaining, gaining speed, gaining appreciation, yeah. So I believe that we will get there. I know we will get there. I know I'll be part of when Martin Luther says, I have a dream. Ah, me, I have a dream that I will be part and parcel of that dream. I will eat the fruits of my dream. Right. Yeah. Anything else that you'd like to add? Uh, well, watch out for Sumo. Watch out for Supermodo. It's going to be ha! <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Uh -huh. Be ready to be taken on a journey, highs and lows. My God, there's enough of those. Um, and yes, believe in us. Believe in Kenyan work. Believe in support us. Support Kenyan work. Support gifts, not just acting. Support gifts, you never know. And if you're a dreamer out there like me, <laughs> don't stop at nothing. Pursue it. Yeah. Thank you very much.